Hello, in this video, we are going to take a brief revision about expanding and then move on to know how to rationalize a denominator. Expanding. We have this expression. How do we expand it? So first, we multiply 2 radical 5 by 4 radical 6, which is the first number in the second parenthesis and by the second number also. Of course, take attention of the um, signs. So we have this is a plus times a plus, positive times positive, the answer is positive. So we multiply them by each other and this is positive and this is negative. So positive times negative, you see this negative here, negative and two radical five times five radical five. Of course, we haven't finished yet. We need to multiply also 3 radical 6 by the first and the second uh, parts of the parenthesis. So in green, you can see that 3 radical 6 is multiplied by 4 radical 6. And take, a, take notice for the uh, sign. So plus times minus, it's minus. And we multiply 3 radical 6 by 5 radical 2. Now we do the calculations. How do we multiply a radical by a radical? So the outside by the outside and the inside by the inside. So two times four, eight radical 30. Here the outside minus two times five, it's minus 10. And radical five times radical five, it's radical five square. Now three times four, it's 12 radical six square. And negative three times five, it's negative 15 radical 30. Of course, the square uh, gets rid of the parent of the radical. And we can add those 8 radical 30 and minus 15 radical 30 because they have the same radical. Then the answer will be uh, 8 and minus 15. They have uh, opposite signs. So uh, plus and minus, which was the sign of the greatest, which is minus, and then subtract the numbers. And uh, 10 times 5, and here we have 12 times 6. We do the calculations, and here is our final value. Expanding by remarkable identities. So uh, this expression is in the form of a minus b all square, which is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. I encourage you to pause the video and bring a paper and try to solve it alone. Okay, we are back. So a squared, the first uh, number in the parenthesis is squared, minus because how we have a negative sign two times the first one times the second one plus the second one all squared so this is square is for the three and for the radical five and uh, the same is here this is square is for the two and for the radical three okay as you can see and we multiply um, the two a b by a by each other so two times the three times two and under the radical we multiply it by under the radical and we uh, do the math and calculate, and here is our final answer. Now, also, we are still uh, studying remarkable identities. So, uh, 3 radical 2 plus 1 all square, this is in the form of a plus b all square, which is equals to a square plus 2ab. The difference is the plus here, because we have plus in the middle here, so we write plus in the uh, answer and plus b squared. So I also encourage you to uh, pause the video and try to solve it alone. Okay, we are back. So did you solve it? I hope so. We do it square for the first term and square for the second term and in the middle we have 2ab so 2 multiplied by the first term multiplied by the second term. So we um, expand our exponent here. So it's a 3 squared, which is 9. And radical 2 squared, it's 2. 1 squared is 1. And we'll multiply those all together. And here is our final answer. The last remarkable identity is uh, in the form of a plus b into a minus b, which is equals to a squared minus b squared. So as you can see in this example, 3 radical 7 minus 4 radical 3 into 3 radical 7 plus 4 radical 3. So I encourage you to pause the video and try to solve it alone. 
Okay, so you can see that the main difference is the plus and the minus, but these numbers are the same. 3 radical 7, 3 radical 7, 4 radical 3, 4 radical 3. So it's the first number squared minus the second number squared. The square is for both 3 and radical 7. The same is here. So we do the math and this is our final answer. Another example on remarkable identities, just because we are going to use this um, this rule a lot in this lesson. So uh, also in the form of a plus b and a minus b. So we have the negative sign and the positive sign, and these are the same. So pause the video and solve it. So we can see that the first number squared minus the second number squared and the square of course is for 2 and for radical 5 because we have the parentheses here. And uh, the same is here for 6 and for radical 2. We do the math and this is our final answer. In the following activity we are going to match the conjugates. Just remember that a minus b and a plus b are conjugates. The only difference between them is we have a negative sign between the first two pairs and a positive sign between the second two pairs. So, let's move on. 1 minus radical 3, its conjugate is 1 plus radical 3. So, we have a negative sign between the first two uh, and a positive sign in its conjugate. So, they are the same numbers with a negative sign in the first, a positive sign in the second. Radical 7, it's, uh, we, we do not have a first and a second, so its conjugate is radical 7. Okay, so radical 5 plus radical 7. Try to find where is its conjugate from the following numbers. So we should search for radical 5 and radical 7, but instead of plus, we should search for a minus. That's it. 5 plus radical 7, so we should search for 5 and radical 7 instead of the plus, minus. Here it is. 2 minus radical 11, it's conjugate. Just we should flip the sign here. Where is that? Okay, so it's 2 plus radical 11. Radical 13 minus 4, it's conjugate is, we just flip the sign, it's radical 13 plus 4. And finally, 2 plus radical 3, uh, 2 radical 3 plus 3 radical 2, we just flip the sign in between. So just one sign, which is the middle one, flip it and you will have the conjugate. Rationalizing the denominator. What does that mean? It's a big word. So rationalizing the denominator, it means to eliminate the square root from the denominator, to convert it from irrational to rational, because you know when we have square root in the denominator, it's irrational. So we rationalize it, we transform it, we convert it into rational number. Let's rationalize the denominator of the following examples. 2 over radical 3. Okay, rationalize the denominator means to eliminate the radical from the denominator. So if we multiply by radical 3 above and below, so we multiply by the conjugate basically. The conjugate of radical 3 is radical 3. We multiply by that in the numerator and in the denominator. It's very important to multiply it in both of them. So 2 times radical 3 is 2 radical 3. And radical 3 times radical 3, since we have 2 radicals and radical 3, so it will be radical 3 squared and the radical will be eliminated. Let's take another example. Minus 5 over 3 radical 2. We need to eliminate the radical 2, eliminate the, uh, the radical from the denominator. But So we need to find the conjugate of 3 radical 2. So we do not have a sign between 3, radica 3 and radical 2. It's not 3 plus radical 2 or 3 minus radical 2. So the conjugate of 3 radical 2, it's enough to multiply by radical 2. No need to multiply by 3 radical 2. Okay, so uh, remember that tip. We multiply only by radical 2 and we got the following answer. And now 3 times radical 2 times radical 2, which is 3 radical 2 squared, the, the radical is eliminated and the denominator is now 6. Another example, 
radical 3 over 6 minus 2 radical 2. So here we should multiply by the conjugate of 6 minus 2 radical 2. Remember how can we find the conjugate? So in order to get rid of the radical, and we have two numbers and a sign between them, either plus or minus, no worries, we multiply by the conjugate of that denominator. So the conjugate of 6 minus 2 radical 2 is 6 plus 2 radical 2. So it was plus minus, the, its conjugate is plus. The only difference is the sign between them, remember? And we should multiply in the numerator and in the denominator. So the denominator now is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. So no need to expand, like expand a times a and a times minus b. No need for that. Its uh, answer is a squared minus b squared. But in the numerator, I need to expand three radical 3 times 6 and radical 3 times 2 radical 2. So the answer will be, uh, here is how it becomes and when we multiply radical 3 times 6 it's 6 radical 3 and radical 3 times 2 radical 2 so multiply add the outside numbers together which is 1 times 2 and radical 3 times radical 2 it's radical 6 and in the denominator remember it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b always when we when we multiply by the conjugate it will we will use this uh, this form so it will be a squared minus b squared so the first number squared minus the second number squared then when we uh, apply the power 2 for the 2 and for the radical 2 the radical will be eliminated and here's our final answer if you're wondering what happened here 36 minus 8 is 28 and then we uh, we take the 2 as a common factor or um, we take we took it from here so 6 uh, radical 3 plus 2 radical 6 uh, 2 radical 6 from 6 and 2 we take a common factor 2 so we divide 6 by 2 it's 3 and 2 by 2 it's 1 and then we simplify 2 and 28 then a 2 is uh, gone and the denominator is 14. So here's our final example. We need to rationalize this example. So to rationalize it, we need to multiply by the conjugate of radical 2 plus radical 5, which is radical 2 minus radical 5. We just change the sign. Remember, the denominator will always be in the form of a plus b into a minus b. Its answer is a squared minus b squared. But in the numerator, we need to expand. So radical 5 times radical 2 and radical 5 times negative radical 5 and 1 times radical 2 and 1 times negative radical 5. We do the math, we multiply, and here is our final answer.